There it is. All right. Pick up Lumberjack Day 8. Who thought we would get to eight? <laughs> eight days on this? I didn't. Um, just trying to get the camera right. Like, uh, which way am I supposed to be twisting this? Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay. Which way am I supposed to be twisting this? Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, man, that's messed up. That's a little better. Okay. I think that's good enough to get started. Um, before I get started, I have to do a sound check. I'm going to try to improve the, the microphone today. With this mic. Um, let's see when I plug it in. If you can still hear me. And if the sound gets better or worse. Check one, check one, no mic. Check one, check one, no mic. Check one, mic'd up. Check one, mic'd up. Uh, as the mic seems to be working. Check one, mic'd up. Uh, as the mic seems to be working. All right, I turned off the echo. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to type in the chat box just uh, greet people because maybe someone's going to show up. Let's see. Post whatever you want in the chat box, and and I'll reply to it. Just trying to get this lined up. Why is it tonight? I don't know. <laughs> Keep making it worse and worse. Just waiting to see where that goes. Yeah, okay, that's better. All right, enough wasting time. We got to get to work here. All right. So we had a big day yesterday. We installed the hood, steering wheel, dashboard, tailgate, and the whole side of the car, which for some reason says R&D, like reverse neutral drive. But I don't know why it would say that on the side here. Not really sure. I see there's gonna be mirrors. This is already here. Obviously there's gonna be interior. Uh, there's going to be some cool like work on the sides there. I'm not sure it's going to be that much. When I look at the build here, there's only a finger's worth of space between the sidewall and the hood. But when you look at this picture that they give you, there's like a ton of space. So I'm kind of confused how that's going to work. Uh, I guess we're going to find out. All right. Let's get our stuff out here. Actually, there's one other thing. I was watching a video from this U-Gears company and the guy had a Swiss army knife on the table when he was doing the, uh, the build. And as it happens, I got one of those to review today. So let me go get that. And first of all, I'll just like show it and that'll be probably showing it will be used in a review later, but then also I guess I'm going to keep it nearby because maybe it's going to come in handy. I mean, if the people who work for you gears use a knife when they're doing these, maybe I should too. You know, maybe it's going to come in handy, like pliers, a utility knife. Who knows what I'm going to need. Um, all right. So 
We're completely done with three of these sheets. Look at that. They're kindling now. Um, I guess we're, you know, almost a third away through the fourth sheet. And then we got, what, is it just two sheets left? Yeah, just two sheets left, yeah. All right, and look at that. The last sheet is all tires. Um, I would guess it's possible that we could finish tonight. I think it's more likely tomorrow. Um, it, I see a second hood here. That's encouraging because I thought for sure that I had destroyed the hood, but looks like I'm going to get a second chance at it. Um... There's a few pieces here that kind of surprised me. Like, I already did the flatbed, but here's more. I think it's going to go on the side walls. A couple more pieces. Anyway, let's get into the instructions. Enough of me guessing. Uh, where did we leave off last night? Uh, we already did the flatbed. We're clearly into the second half of the book, but we're also on day eight. So, I don't know. There's really much to brag about. Uh, this looks like what we were doing yesterday. Yeah, there's something new. Uh, so did we did we finish this? I believe we did. We put the side wall on, and then boom, check mark. Um, and then we turn the page, and that's new. That's stuff we haven't done yet. So I guess we're starting here on page thirty-eight today. I'm going to grab that knife that showed up today. I notice everything's tactical these days. They could, like, anything they sell you, it's like. So this is Tacticman gear it gives you a tactical edge. Everything's tactical. They could sell, be selling you, like, Q-tips, but they're tactical. All right, so there's the box. Um, some instructions here. I'll, I'll check that out later. All right. What do we got here? Looks pretty cool. Uh, looks like a wrench, honestly. Uh, yeah, there's the wrench. All right. Yeah. Needle nose pliers, really. Um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff going on here. Let's check out. There's a saw. I'm just seeing if they're going to have stuff I can use for this build. Uh, what even is this? It won't move. All right, I guess I have to read the instructions to find out what all this stuff is. But this, that looks like scissors. Probably need to flip them down. Oh, there we go. All right, there's the scissors. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we got the bottle opener coming up next. Yep, bottle opener plus a flathead screwdriver. File. We're definitely going to need the file rather than using the sandpaper. Here's another saw with a different blade. Uh, there's something deep in there. I'm not sure how to even get to it. Oh, no, that's the wrench. All right, we don't have to get to that. I almost cut myself <laughs> on the scissors closing this. All right, let me carefully close them one at a time. Well, that seemed like everything. I don't know what's going to be on the other side. Wow, those scissors really don't want to move. What did, what did I do to them? They're like permanently open now. And I can't put force or I'll cut myself. Hmm. Probably some smart way to close it, but I don't know it. Hmm. Am I breaking the scissors? All right, there's the scissors. How do we close the scissors? There's a little thing here. Let me pull that down and see if that... Yeah, that's it. So that means this thing that we couldn't figure out, I should pull that down and that'll open as well. So how did I get the scissors out without pulling that down? I don't know. 
There's something on the back there. It like goes through. Yeah. Pull it down on both sides. Still doesn't come out. Whatever it is. Anyone know what this piece is? I can't figure it out. And it won't open up. Maybe it's not supposed to open up. Alright, let's just see what we got here. Okay, another knife. That one's... I don't know, what's that? A steak knife? Looks quite dangerous, whatever it is. Looks like another bottle opener. No. Uh, that's a uh, utility knife. That definitely can be useful in this build. Um, Phillips head. Can you call that a Phillips head? I'm not sure. Well, it's definitely another bottle opener. So this is going to go in the bug out bag. Another saw. I don't think this is the world's most useful um, uh, Swiss Army knife. I'm probably going to give it a four. Uh, um, I still haven't gotten this open, nor do I have a guess on what it is. You know what I think this is? I think this is to clip it to your belt. Look at the size of that. That probably clips to your belt. So that's why I can't open it. So there's nothing to open. It's a clip. All right. I think the I think the needle you know, nose pliers was the most useful part. That's probably what I'm gonna leave, the mode I'm gonna leave it in. Oh, there's something here on the ends here. I don't know if that's just a guard. Or if those are just guards. Yeah, they might just be guard. No, they might be extenders. There's, let me pull on the little trigger here and see what happens. Something came out when I pulled on it. Hmm. It's definitely, you see this? It's definitely something. I pull it down, and then how do I open it? I feel like I'm really embarrassing myself here that, that I don't know what I'm doing. I push it down. It doesn't open. Why doesn't it open? I'm just going to stick a screwdriver in there and try to pop it out. Probably breaking it. All right, let me try the other end. All right, well, I don't know why there's little triggers there if they don't do anything. Uh, and I haven't read the instructions yet, so I probably should do that. I'm not going to do that on camera. I'll do that some other time. Um, not the worst. Not the worst one. Oh, there's another belt clip. If you want to keep the case. I don't know. A case? A box? Alright, let's just, let's just do this puzzle. Um, Alright. 140... 145? That's uh, 149. Uh, where's 145? There's 145. Looks like this is the clutch or something. And 95. What the hell? I just broke the pick. Alright. That much. So I probably was bored for bored. Bad form what I was doing. <laughs> so I stuck the pick in there and pushed it through, but then the pick broke, so that probably wasn't what I'm supposed to do. Anyway, it's still useful like this, but uh was slightly more useful a minute ago. All right, 95. Looking for a little pin sort of piece. It could be on a previous sheet with a low number like 95. Let me check some of those other sheets. For pieces still hanging on. Yep, there's a 38, a 14, all the usual suspects. Where's the 95? I know exactly what it looks like, but I don't see any. There's, that's a 2, which I think the 95 looks like that 2, just a little bit. There's two 95s came out of there. So there's probably more 95s on this piece. Or, on this piece, there's more 2s. 
So where are the 95s? Oh, there's the 95s. I was staring right at them. All right, so I just need one at the moment. How can people pop these things out without breaking them? Because <laughs> I seem to break a lot of them. Um, as I recall, I'm supposed to put the fat end in first. It just seems to go better that way. My dad asked me to uh, dip, disassemble these and give them to him when he's done and he'll do them, but I don't know if you actually can disassemble these, you know. <laughs> I think that some of them you can, but this one would be, would be something. I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, all right, so we built this little thing. Now what do we do with it? Uh, by the way, I was supposed to use, oh, I'm supposed to use the wax right now on the bottom of this thing. So where's that going to go? <laughs> it's getting all waxed up. All right, next we need some fairly big piece uh, named 147. So as these pieces get bigger, we move quicker. I mean, bigger pieces... You know, it's so like more, more surface area or more volume for less connections. Uh, so it says, doesn't say it. It pictorially indicates that we keep this on this side while we slide this. Is this going to be a working gear shift? I mean, I just see there's like a, a, a pattern there. Um, you often have to look to the next picture to see how it connects. Uh, it looks like it connects really high, like slide it in here and can and then slide it over onto this. Um, it does have quite a bit of mobility and from that position. All right, now we need 148, which presumably is going to lock that into place. All right. I got a couple uh, things here. Um, well, I can't read my own handwriting. What the hell does that say? I tried to remember some topics to bring up, but I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, I remember it was the same way when I was in school. I would like take notes, you know, and then I would think like, I can't read any of this writing. So then I would think, well, I better just pay attention next time or read books or something because the notes aren't going to work because I can take the notes, but I can't read them. I can't make out what they say. So like, eh, I have no idea what that says. Like, it doesn't even ring a bell. I have no idea what I wrote. Um, all right. 148. All right, 148. Where's that going to go? I guess that's why they teach you penmanship when you're in, like, grade school. Because, you know, what's the point of taking notes if you can't read your own writing? So, so, well, nowadays people take the notes on like iPads or cell phones, or maybe they have like digital voice recorder and they talk to themselves, but then they got to transfer that somewhere anyway. So I, I basically typing, basically people type their notes these days. Uh, penmanship is not as big an issue, but it might be again, um, right? Mechanical writing. I mean, I like to have like crank radios, mechanical uh, pumps, mechanical chainsaw. I like this. I like mechanical. It's like some people call it camping gear, uh, bug out gear, but it's just like stuff that doesn't take electricity. Um, 
So penmanship doesn't take electricity, though it takes uh, timber and ink, so it's not totally uh, costless. But uh, some of those things like the hand pumps and the hand saws, yeah, I mean, they run on muscle power. You know, you just, uh, whatever you eat, that's what powers them. So I like those type of things. It's, uh, it's good, you know, you save money. Uh, you don't have to pay for energy and you get a workout. That's the funny thing to me is like, why, like people spend money on energy, like a lot of it, and then they go and work out. Well, like you could just, now I'm not a huge fan of people clogging up the cities with bikes, but it is sort of a good example that you could just ride a bike. But even that you could just like, ride a stationary bike and collect energy or like like why are we saving buying energy just to save energy when we could make energy like our bodies could make energy like like why don't we do more of that all right this goes basically parallel to this so If I called that the clutch, you know what? Maybe this is the clutch because see that circle on top? This is probably the hill, hill break, the start and stop. Oh, or is it, is this a dump truck? No, I don't think this is a dump truck. I think that's probably just the hill break and this is the clutch. Or maybe this is the, the gear. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just, let's just see. I'm a little bit lost on, on this, but, uh. Um, this doesn't look as vertical as the picture. I think I did something wrong. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. All right, you know, at least I fixed it. All right, so there we go. Now our clutch looks good. And is there a second 148? There must be. They're asking for one. Yeah, another 148. I forget how we got this in last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see. You wedge it in there. And then you drive it in here. What are we playing? Golf? Wedges and drives? Alright, cool. Not sure what we built, but we built it. And I think it probably goes... Is it going to fit in there? I feel like that's where it goes. Like... So the driver can reach it, but it doesn't look like it fits in there. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, it's time to attach that. I got to tell you, what is this? These controls go in the back. They go in the flatbed. Wait, what? So this is definitely not a gear. I don't think you control the the clutch from the from the flatbed, do you? That's insane. Uh, anyway, let's just get this installed, and then we'll figure out what it is. Does it just slide on? It's gonna be the like the easiest thing we've done all build. I'm pretty sure it just slides right down in there. Let's not get overconfident. You know, you start thinking it's the easiest thing, and then it doesn't quite fit, and then you break stuff. I think these connect to these, uh, the brake, yeah, it says start and stop, and it's going to connect to the brake, and this is going to connect, yeah, this is the throttle. Why are they, oh, they're in the back? I guess it's for me to control. It's not for the imaginary driver, it's for me controlling the model so yeah yeah this is the brake and this is the, the clutch where you can just call it the gas in this case because it's a very simple mechanism yeah because I remember these two pieces and what they do 
under the hood. So obviously we've gone off it being an accurate truck and now it's become a toy model that moves and it means you know basically these controls are for me <laughs> to control this little truck and I screwed up the connections so I gotta back this out because obviously this is not gonna work unless I make these connect all right that one's connected uh, where does this one go Oh, it hits the rubber band there. Okay, cool. So it just has to get into that slot. And this one definitely has to hold that, grab that piece of wood. Well, we got something here. If we hadn't messed up that spring on like day two or three, we'd, we'd have a moving vehicle right now. There's little notches in the wood, and this goes into the wood. The only question I have left is how far I push them down. They've already made connections. Yeah, they've already made connections So I've at the bottom to the pedals, so I feel like I, they don't need to go any further. In fact, I don't think they can go any further. I'm just looking at them, it's like wood against wood, yeah. There's nothing really locking them in at this point. Other, but they have made connections. You can see in there, the one that says start, stop, connected to the brake, and the one that looks like a throttle connected to this pin that you pull in and out. There it is, you can see the action. It makes that spring in the engine. Basically, these are the driving controls. Brake and gas. And they want us to test it here. They want us to test the controls. They're like, crank this thing up and test the controls but this thing doesn't crank so that's a shame yeah this whole next page is just like play around with these controls spin this spring to power it you know let off the brake you know let out the clutch you know yeah yeah these are supposed to be controls but i screwed them up let's just go on yeah, page 39 is all about just testing the controls, like, how did you do? Well, we did bad. <laughs> all right, let's move on to building the upholstery. Maybe we'll do a better job at that. All right, 151. Sorry to drag you into this with the Wii. Uh, I guess it was me who messed up. All right. Well, I see one, yeah, there it is, 151. It doesn't really look like a 151. Well, that's a 157. 151. It's probably right in front of me. Why don't I see it? Is it on another page? Not there. So 56, 65, 75, 95. I feel like those are just spare parts. Uh, I'm gonna go to the next page because I don't see 151. The numbers on the next page are too high. So uh, apparently I'm staring right at 151 and somehow don't see it. 159, 169, 170, 171, 150, 153. You would think it'd be close to 150, right? 157, 156, 158. I must have punched it out prematurely and it's sitting around here somewhere. Maybe I'm reading the number wrong. 151. It shows it. There's like some highlighting here where it shows you where on the board it is. Um, all right, here's this here. If I orientate, 
so it should be here. I punched it out accidentally. It's right here. It was once here. So where is it right now? Well, these are here. I hope I didn't throw it out thinking it was like some garbage piece. Hmm. Uh, I, next I'm going to check my garbage in case I just maybe threw it out yesterday thinking it was nothing. I'm looking around for all little scraps of wood. Well, I feel like I wouldn't have thrown it out. I would have put it in this little bag here. But that bag is empty. So I have to go dumpster dive at this point to see if 151 is in there. Because the other pieces are these two. Which means it was in between those two. Which means I knocked it out yesterday at some point. And then possibly I threw it out. I'm now looking in my garbage to see if there's any wood pieces from yesterday. There is a wood piece that says 141. Um, well, we're not looking for 141, we're looking for 151. Well, it's not here. <laughs> Uh, the garbage was fairly clean. Uh, it was just like paper mostly. But I didn't see the 151. So I don't get it. Um, I have the two pieces that it was with. Um, is it like on the table right now somewhere? There's 151. Um, 152. So this is like 152. And this is 150. Let's just start assembling it. And maybe we're going to come across 151. Um, and we're just going to figure it out when we when we get there I mean I I don't enjoy moving forward without that piece but I, I don't have that piece oh it's already attached is this it yeah it's already attached like it was never separated. Okay. Look at this. Look, this is 152. This is 151. So they were, they're basically, were never detached. They're, this is two pieces. And they're going to go together. The only, I don't know if maybe one of them tilts a little bit. In which case I do need to detach them. You know, I really can't say. And I also can't say which one is 151 and which one's 152. Because as far as I can tell, they're identical. But they have different numbers. Hmm, that's weird. Well, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> so, presumably I'm not going to destroy the build if I pick the wrong one. So, alright, let's just do this. Alright, so 150... We're going to stick this in here, see if it fits. There is a bit of a tilt, but I don't think it's worth detaching. Oh, I did it. I detached it. There's a little bit of a tilt. Yeah, see? A little bit of a tilt. What can I tell you? Needed to be detached. Alright. Bottom side. I assume there's also going to be a little bit of a tilt. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a rounding. You know, the upholstery is kind of rounded at the edge. 
So they kind of tilt this thing a little bit. Not, not a major deal, but enough that you have to break the pieces apart. They won't go in otherwise. Wow, so how much of the stream time did I waste looking for a piece that I was holding the whole time? It's like when people look for the glasses and they're on the top of their head. I was looking for a piece that I was holding in my hand. Unbelievable. All right, 153 goes on the other side. Well, oh, punch out from this side. Oh, I didn't use my um, box cutter, which I was thinking I was going to use. All right, let's use it. Where was it anyway? Um, yeah, I think it's the next one. There it is. There's my box cutter. All right. This is a tricky little piece. I think it's a good use for the box cutter. All right. Hmm. Do all of these lock in? Yeah, I guess they're all locked in. That's probably how all Swiss Army knives work. I mean, the last time I had one was probably 40 years ago. Uh, and I remember it was red and actually had the Swiss like kind of flag on it. Uh, this is, I don't know, some new style. All right. I got four connectors to do here. And then we got the... Uh, interior of the truck. I got somewhere for the driver to sit. Having trouble getting them all in. Should I line up all four and then push them in at once? I think yes. Thought I had them all lined up, but not exactly. All right, now they're all lined up. You know, you get them all lined up, and then they one of them one of them shifts, and then you push on it, and then they all shift. Come on, that is definitely in. You can't tell me that's not in. You can see it's in. But obviously it's not all the way in. So we need four clicks. One. Hmm. Only got one. Oh, that is out. That is definitely out. All right, that's not going in until we get it fixed. We got a click from the other side. Oh, there we go. Got three clicks at once. Nice. And another click on the other side. I think we're good to go. All right, there's the upholstery. Uh, we just gotta drop that in there. So uh, connectors at the at the top and bottom. Yeah, no, this is the bottom. These are like what lifts it off the ground, and this attaches it to the back. Just gotta. It don't really give you a good view of what it connects to. There's like two options in there. Uh, I think it's got it. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's got to be that one. And then the top one is is not connected to anything at this moment. There's obviously going to be something connected, but uh, maybe the, you know, maybe on the next page or page after that, we're just connecting the bottom one side's in. Other side's in. Good. Driver's got somewhere to sit. We got controls to work it. I'm feeling good. This is already... Well, it doesn't have tires. <laughs> I was thinking it was drivable for a second. But it doesn't have tires. It's, uh, it's got somewhere to sit. It's got the locomotion. But it's not going to go very far without tires. So, alright. Uh, 
All right, so observe this. QC looks good. Check. We move on. Uh, so all we did on that page was the upholstery. Up to page 42. What do we got here? What the hell was that? Is that the, is that the grill? Is that the, yeah, that's the grill, right? Yeah, I don't know why I, I didn't recognize that sooner. 154. Are we doing it? Are we taking one from this sheet? No. Nope, not from that sheet. 154 is going to be locked on to the hood via 155. Uh, 154. That's it. 154. That's the grill. Alright, now we need also. 155 this is it it was right next to it it's just a little like locking pin I'm just gonna go through and then we're gonna use 155 to lock it on splintered off but the splinter stayed on the wood so I don't think it's a problem um, okay so it doesn't attach to the hood but they're suggesting open the hood so I can work underneath it's going to drop down this way. So then why would we put this pin on top if it's going down? Is that just like for decoration? Like I can put it in now if it's not going to lock anything in. All right, let's just see how, let's put, let's do it the way they say. And they don't say. You don't say? Yeah. I think I can drop it in any time. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll just remove it. Uh, they don't they don't advise wax, but I'm gonna go wax here Probably locks in tighter without wax, but I didn't put much. I Just think for some reason I think this is a weird angle by the way. I didn't have the light on the entire time <laughs> I know I'm gonna watch the screen to see the difference that makes yeah a little bit of a difference I just noticed when I tried to get underneath here. I couldn't see and then I realized, well, because the light's not on. Is the microphone working? Let me check that. Is the microphone? Yeah, mic's working. Um, I'm using a, a different, I'm using a microphone attachment today. I was thinking to use the one that clips to your lapel, but I thought that that's a little too much. I use that in the, the gym videos, but I don't think I need that for, for this, uh, I mean, my mouth is like a foot away from the microphone, so I don't think I need it. Uh, but I just added a little, you know, 360 movement to the mic. Rather than the mic that's built into the tablet, I have uh, just a little swivel mic there. All right. Grill is on. <clears throat> that is not the only thing to do in this page. There's a fairly big piece. 165 it's like a mud guard or something it's the front i don't know there's probably a word for it it's, it goes in front of the tire uh 156 there it is two of them so yeah put one on each side so i'll punch them both out right now boom 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 come on i mean should i just I don't know how these like people assemble these things without breaking a single piece. Am I am I like not being patient enough? Do they pre-cut? You think they go through with a utility knife and like pre-cut everything? Um, because then it'll all fall out. You could lose it, but at least it won't be damaged. You won't break any pieces. All right. So it looks like they connect. So I'm just, uh, it's a little tricky as to which side is up. Obviously they connect with the single side and they're showing a detail that helps you to know the left from the right. And they're basically saying this little square notch goes towards the vehicle. Uh, so that would make, um, are they like, can they be done? All right, are they identical? Yeah, okay. So we just have to put this this towards the vehicle on this side and I believe it goes 
Uh, yeah, right here. This. Uh, let's see. I mean, it looks pretty easy. Let's see if looks are deceiving. No, no, it was pretty easy. I mean, I could get to it. And it was just one connector, and it was a fairly big connection, so it was pretty much no problem. Same thing on the other side. It's a little tougher on this side. If I was left-handed, it might be a little easier on this side, but I'll get it. Hmm. I feel like I'm pulling the, the siding off, trying to get that in. All right, I'm just going to do it this way. Nope. This way. There's got to be an angle that works. All right. I didn't get a click sound, but it looks flush, so I'm going to assume that that's good. Let me try tugging on it. I mean, it looks pretty good. It didn't move. Well, the whole thing moved, but the piece didn't move in, in uh, relative to the body. The whole body moved. So I would say that's a good connection. All right. Now we're starting to, to build the front bumper. That's nice. That's fun. 157. Um, we might finish this tonight. Is that possible? No, I have two whole sheets that I haven't started yet. I just feel like this. we just tore through this first sheet. And the last sheet is only tires. We're going to do that in 10 minutes. It's, but this sheet looks a little complex. So maybe maybe one more night because we're we only got 14 minutes left tonight but I think tomorrow as long as I'm available we're going to finish this tomorrow. All right. 158. No. I keep checking these pieces thinking they're going to be there and they never are. Uh, this 158 is is a hmm, this is a tricky one because it's going to pop out a bunch of pieces that we don't need yet. And then those pieces are going to have to go in the bag if we don't assemble them tonight. So this is actually, I'm not happy about this. Because now we have to go on. Because now we have these pieces. Which are not part of 157. So i got to knock those out. See that? Four pieces there. I'm going to be two or three pieces on this one. I can't, I don't know if that little one counts as a piece or not. I don't think it does. All right. Six pieces in total, maybe seven. All right. So let's build this grill. All right. Ink side up. I would say ink side out, but there's no ink. But as I learned from watching the video and I should have noticed on my own, one side is smoother than the other. It's like, I don't know if it's varnished or what, but basically, even if there's no ink, you can still tell that this is the outside. All right, so this looks like, wow, that was too easy. It just like fell into place. Yeah, that was, I think that's the easiest connection I've made this entire build. All right. And now that goes onto the bottom of these uh, mud flaps, tire guards, wheel wells, whatever you want to call them. I think they'd be mud flaps if they were on the back, wheel wells on the front. Uh, yeah, that's the only connection right at the bottom. Um, can I get there? What angle do I take to get there? That we have to find, let's see, look at this. We have to find where, probably the deepest point. Uh, let me see if I can tell from the picture. Usually you have to go to the next picture to tell. Um, I can't see. Uh, it looks like they're saying go completely underneath. Like ignore all of these opportunities go completely underneath and then go up that's that's what the instructions say so that's what we're gonna do though i gotta tell you it doesn't feel right no 
way. Come on. All right, almost there. I went from no way come on to almost there in a second because I don't know. <laughs> it just all of a sudden, it, it was it was like so far away, and then it just now it's like sixteenth of an inch away. Something fell into place. So, but it's not on yet. It's it's just close. I think I can play with the wheel well with the uh, yeah a little bit. All right, did I pull the other side off in the process? Slightly, but we can recover. You push one side on, the other side pops off. Should I flip it over? Work on it from the other direction? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, we're gonna get one side on. And then we're going to go do the other side. Whatever mess we create in the process, so be it. We just got to get one of these locked on. If you're... Oh, it's halfway on. But I feel like if I switch to the other one, it's going to pop off. I want it to lock before I go to the other one. Yeah, that is far from being locked. It's not even on. It's like, it's a little bit out. Come on. It's, uh, the wood is folding bending. Alright, since this was so easy, we're just going to do that. We're going to do that a second time after we get this on, right? I mean, why are we going crazy? Let's just put this on the bottom and then we'll put that on the top. Uh, there's no reason you have to try to do it and while balancing that. I don't like being 180 and not seeing the what I'm damage I might be doing to the other side. All right, one piece, one side. We're not giving up until it's on. supposed to go in this catch or not it's like a huge thing whether it whether it goes in there or not the instructions were like go underneath but it really seems like it's supposed to catch but if I'm wrong no it definitely goes in there yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no way that's two, that's one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Go in there, I'll slide this on. My arms are starting to stick to the instruction book, but. They're almost on, by the way. It hasn't been pretty, but they're on. tell I don't think it's on we definitely didn't get a click but I don't know what more I can do here well it is what it is
close the hood on this. <laughs> Even though it didn't say to. It lined up and I felt like it locked in pretty good. Uh, so I did it. But as you see in the picture, the hood is still open. So there might be more stuff to put in there. Yeah, there is more stuff to put in there. Um, by the way, it's the front license plate is coming up. All right, let's do that. That sounds like fun. Where is it? Is it on one of these sheets? Every time I check those sheets. Should be obvious, right? License plate. Little rectangle, rounded at the edges with some numbers on it. Is it on the next page? All right, well, who knows? We'll find it. All right, right now, 159. Did I switch the order of these? No, this one's like totally untouched. Hmm. Fifty-five, fifty-four, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-one, seventy, one sixty-nine. Oh, here's one fifty-nine. It would be cool if the chat was active and people would say, you know, like where the stuff is. Uh, that would, we would develop a language, like some orientation language. Uh, all right, 161 and 162. There's 163. I hear a cricket. I don't know if you hear it over the computer, but I hear it. Oh, were they those pieces that we pushed out before? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I knew I'd seen that license plate somewhere. All right, so 161 and two 162s. There's one 162. There's another 162. All right, so we're basically attaching the license plate to the grill, to the bumper. Finally done. All right. There's nothing that goes through here, but I guess it kind of pins it. Yeah, there's like a little slot on the side. I'm gonna kind of pin that to it. In what what fashion does it pin it to it? The bottom, and then these guys kind of pin them in. I wonder if I could just put this one in first and then slide the license underneath. Probably could. But I think I'm gonna do it with the license in place. That's a good, I felt good. All right, let's do the other side.
UGR11, by the way, I'm pretty sure that's the model number, UGEARS11, or at least that's like, I think it might be 70711 or something like that, I forget what it is, I gotta check, you probably can see better than me from your position, because you can check the previous day, my hands are busy doing this, but anyway, the UGR is definitely UGEARS, and then the 11 is, I believe, some part of the model number, anyway, there we go. There's the front license. Uh, let's attach that. And we're at 61 minutes, so I guess we're going to pick up on page 45 tomorrow. Uh, actually, we're not ready to attach this yet. No, we are ready to attach it, but there's two more things to do. I think I like front headlights. Um, and they're going to kind of pin this on. They're going to help to pin it on. So there's posts there, I'll wax those up, and they're going to take this uh, front license plate, slide that all the way to the back, and then these two lights are going to pin it on. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. in it's uh it also pins the two sides together it looks pretty good i like it um we're going through through quickly through this uh these sheets like we're getting at least one per night lately the beginning was was not so good <laughs> we weren't moving as quick all right 160 what we're looking for is two little headlights. Are they on one of these sheets we popped out before? Yes, they are. Yep, they're the headlights. And they are going to help to lock in the front bumper. And then we're going to say goodbye until tomorrow. go we're good how nice is that got the grill we got the license we got the lights I think we're in good shape all right let's uh, do it again tomorrow see you then good night <laughs>